Hello, we are starting off today's video with some garage sale footage. I found a cute Winnie the Pooh plush backpack and I found some Kermit the Frog plushes and another Muppets plush that I forget the name of, some Mr. Potato Heads. This garage sale was actually pretty good. It had a lot of stuff that I was interested in. My dad actually ended up picking that digital camera up because it was still in the plastic. I actually had this plug and play game growing up and I loved it. My favorite was the racing part of it and I always played it in my Oma and Opa's motorhome on their little TV. This is a high school musical sealed board game. I've never really come across a sealed one before and these were a whole bunch of knockoff Tamagotchis. At least I'm pretty sure they were knockoffs, so I did not grab any. And then another sealed Disney Channel game. This is a Camp Rock CD board game. So that was a very exciting garage sale to be at. And this was a little like T.Y. Angel. Um, I think it's a Christmas ornament you can hang on your tree. And then I was just seeing what other kind of figures they had because you never know. And this pink TV, I would have lived for this back in middle school, high school. I would have been so excited to have that. This bin of plushes didn't really have anything. This clown was kind of freaky. That's really all it had. Oh, I guess Kay, it had a Cabbage Patch Kid, but I don't know much about Cabbage Patch Kids. And I came so close to getting this My Little Pony, but the eyes were faded, as you can see, so I didn't think it was worth it. And look at this giant Care Bear. It reminds me of the one that you get at like a carnival. This was another good garage sale, actually. It had a lot of stuff to look at. Um, Dora the Explorer, some old, like, I thought these were little tykes. But I think it's like a knockoff, but it has a very similar logo. So let me know if you know what fun time is, if it's like, the same as Little Tykes? I don't know, but I was kind of curious about them. And my dad found this 1970s Canadian um, candlestick phone. I think that's what they're called with the maple leaves on it. But then I went and found some DVDs. I should have gotten Cowbells, honestly. Such a good film. If you haven't watched Cowbells with uh, Cowbells, I feel like that's so hard to say, with Ali and AJ, definitely give it a watch. It's probably on Disney Channel. It is so freaking funny. You never know what little miscellaneous items you're gonna find. And I found this little groovy girls like puppy power pillow, which was so cute. And then I found this little plush Barbie TV. I kind of wish I had this back in the day for my Barbies. I love the colors and the little flower antennas. And we found a little mini TV. This is probably the smallest one I've ever found. And if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for a small TV, but we sadly left it. I did pick up this Star Wars like um, stationary kit. This garage sale had a lot of collectibles, but it's actually funny because last year he said he had a garage sale on the other side of town and I definitely was at his garage sale and it had a lot of fun stuff to look at, um, like these figures. We have Monsters, Inc. And then you'll see in a second, there's Shrek, but they're all kind of priced how, well, they weren't like priced exactly what they're worth, but pretty close. Um, but I really wanted that Hercules plate, but it was kind of priced high and it wasn't in the greatest condition. But yeah, look, Monsters, Inc., Shrek, Toy Story. This guy really had everything, Mr. Potato Head. I was trying to figure out what that one guy was from. It might've been Tarzan or something, but there's even Beauty and the Beast, a whole bunch of, um, of the cars and buttons and everything. I was so stoked for this next find. It is a Furby baby, and these are actually quite rare and go for a lot if they work, which this one does not. We cannot get this to work, sadly. Um, so that was devastating. And my dad picked up a TV, a DVD TV combo. Those are always great to pick up. Hello, welcome to my bedroom that looks like a complete mess right now. If this is your first time ever seeing me on YouTube, hey, welcome. My name's Kaylin and I collect and sell things from the 90s and early 2000s. I have online shops and I also have a booth at a local antique store. And I just went garage sailing as you saw literally just now. And I'm gonna show you guys what I actually ended up picking up. And I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that my dad picked up um, this past week for me as well. I don't even know where to begin. I was just on TikTok live for a while, but let me just like close my closet. I don't like that that's open, but okay. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is Jibby. 
Um, Jibby is this plug and play game that you can plug into your TV and you can use your voice to interact with it and play games, I guess. I've never heard of this in my life, but it is from 2000 and 2006 and I will be testing it and I will videotape it when I test it, but I don't have the right batteries. Then I picked up this Powerpuff Girls tin, which is literally the cutest thing in the entire world. It is so cute and small and in great condition. I picked that up today. I also picked up this Winnie the Pooh backpack, plush backpack. Something my dad picked up for me was this Blue's Clues plush, super precious. And I also got this never before opened high school musical board game, East High Forever. This Care Bears 1983 board game, which is precious as well. And I picked up this sealed camp rock game. I got this little groovy girls puppy pillow from 2000. And I got this Barbie plush TV from 2002, which is so stinking cute. I'm gonna bundle them together. I got this Queen Amidala school set, which is precious. Little school set, this little Pooh Bear, which is so tiny, like look. <laughs> and this TY Angel. It's a little, you can hang it on your tree, which I love that. I love plush ornaments of any kind. Two DVDs, Monster High and Bratz the Movie. Scary Spice. I don't know if these are the shoes that go with her. They very well could be, I have to look that up, but she's in really good condition. Lizzie McGuire and That's the Raven board game. Just the best board game to ever exist, ever. This Olympic Ken doll from 1998. He won a gold medal. This holiday Barbie from the year 2000. She even has a little Christmas ornament with her. Her dress is gorgeous. The princess and the pea Barbie in amazing condition. Like literally looks brand new. Some things that my dad actually got that I'm gonna sell for him on my eBay is a whole bunch of these small soldier, small soldier figures. A Bratz suitcase. Ah, oh, look at her hair. She's gorgeous. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much it, guys. I also picked up a baby Furby that my dad is just gonna clean up a little bit for me. So I'll have to show you guys. I did show you guys in the clips at the garage sales, but um, yeah, so that is the little haul. Some good stuff today. Good morning. Today is gonna be some non-nostalgic content because I just have to run a couple errands and I thought you guys might wanna join me for those. So we're gonna go to the dollar store, we're gonna go to Superstore, get some groceries, and I'll just show you guys kind of what I get. I also wanted to talk about the Barbie movie because after I first watched it, I was like, uh, yeah, okay, like this is good, but I just didn't really know how I felt about it. I think like my brain couldn't process all that I was watching. But when I go on TikTok and I see all the posts with that Billie Eilish song, like what was I made for? And then everybody's like thoughts about what the movie meant and like womanhood and like girlhood into womanhood and like losing our sense of self and and having to like leave behind our essentially yeah our childhood when you come into womanhood and it's like holy I it has been really really emotional thinking about what the Barbie movie truly truly meant for women and whoo I need to rewatch that movie immediately. Anywho, what I'm gonna get at the dollar store is bubble wrap because I ran out and I need bubble wrap to pack orders sometimes. I also need to get some batteries to test out that Jibby 
plug and play game that I just got at a garage sale. That I'm gonna test it out today, I think, in this video as well. So we're gonna test that out later. I also need to get those eyebrow spoolies or like mascara spoolies because I got this e.l.f. brow wax. I've just been using hair gel for my eyebrows, but it like to keep them in place, but it flakes easily. And this e.l.f. one doesn't flake, but I don't have an eyebrow spoolie for it. So I need to get some eyebrow spoolies. Hopefully the dollar store has some. Yep. Why are these the cutest spoolies I've ever seen in my entire life? Look at those colors. There's 19. Oh, there's different sizes. Oh my gosh. There's 19 small ones, seven large, seven spiral, and two wide. All right. Got that. Secured the batteries. Secured the bubble wrap. Now we're going to go get some groceries. I totally forgot to film in there because I don't normally film in the dollar store, so my bad. But uh, yeah, let's go get some groceries. Time for a grocery haul. Lettuce, because I'm gonna make this like Caesar salad pasta dish and you need lettuce. And I'm also gonna be making a wrap again and um, you need lettuce in your wrap. Banana chocolate chip muffins, so freaking good. Pizza flavored goldfish, essentials. Turkey, sugar snap peas. Grapes were on sale. I think these were like $5 and they're normally like $8. So I got some red grapes. I got an entire rotisserie chicken for my Caesar salad uh, pasta bowl. Then I got more of the spinach wraps because these are the best wraps ever. These ones are so stinking good. More Beatrice milk. If you if you watched my last video um, where I did a, <laughs> um, a grocery haul, you know, I don't really like Beatrice milk, but I've been getting it lately. Maybe it'll grow on me. And then I got two cereals because it was two for seven. Um, I got Caramel Toast Crunch and Trix. So all of that in Canadian dollars was $53.54, which like could be better, but it could be worse. Because if I bought all of this at Save on Foods, it would probably be close to like $80. Okay, it is time to test out Jibby. See how it works. See what stuff we can do with it. I'm very curious. This is Jibby. It literally, this, this reminds me of my Alexa. I can't say her name or she'll hear me. But this reminds me of like, like one of those machines because you speak to it and like it reacts to whatever you say. So, oh, first I need to put batteries in it. Why'd they name it Jibby? Honestly, there are so many other names they could have went for. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yes. I miss you. Let's play. That's my thing too. Um, rock, paper, scissors. That's the best thing since killing me. Okay, best three out of five. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Scissors. Okay, what did you choose? Scissors. I chose paper. Wow, you are good. Let's hang out. Sounds fun. Let's dance. Right now. Hip hop. <laughs> Jibby, go back. Other stuff. Your stuff is boring. I'll be back when you're done. Jibby. Go on a trip. Okay. What? But I'm going to miss you. What does this mean? Please turn off Jibby. Why? What did I do? Oh, I like actually went on vacation. What? I don't know. 
Let's play. It ain't your room. <laughs> it is. Um, fortune teller. That's the best thing since killing you. The amazing thing you know all. Go ahead. Ask me a question. Will I marry Zach Efron? Blah, blah, blah. Not likely. Do you want to do this again? No. Chores. I like your thinking. Bath. There's bath time. Shopping. For sure. Mall. Wow. Outfits. Oh my gosh, I can actually buy stuff. Are you kidding me? We can buy stuff? Um... Left. Jibby, go back. Glasses. Middle. Jibby, go back. Wow, that's Jibby, you guys. I'm gonna actually get off and I'm gonna film a TikTok so people can see Jibby on TikTok. How cool is that though? I'm actually in love with this. It is that time again when we have to test some VHSs, so let's get to it. So we have Blue's Clues, Rhythm and Blue, Blue's Clues, ABCs and 123s, uh, Power Rangers and Samurai Cyber Squad? Never heard of it, so let's do Blue's Clues first. I'll wake up thinking, hoping you will get it right this time. Let me know if you know what song I was singing. Clock. The nostalgia I'm having right now. I always watched Blue's Clues at my best friend's house back in the day. And that ending just hit me like a ton of, a ton of bricks. Precious, precious, precious. Wow, so they are both at the exact same spot. Let's rewind a little bit so we can see. Face, that's where I saw him. I've seen him in, in the Blue's Clues tapes, okay. Hi there, Face here. Do you know what my favorite thing about taking a bath is? Here's a hint. Bubbles. Bubbles. All right, Power Rangers. Also, these will be on my Etsy shop. They're gonna be so cheap because the covers are like not great. They're taped up and everything. So they're gonna be like $5, if that. By the power of the ancient I don't think I owned a single Power Rangers toy. I don't even think my brother did. I don't remember my family being like a big fan of Power Rangers. Last but not least, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Help of Malcolm Brink, he creates mega virus monsters to attack electronic systems. Meanwhile, a freak accident turns sad. Oh my gosh! That's what's his face, Matthew Lawrence. I loved him on Boy Meets World and Brotherly Love. Oh. Look at him! Oh my gosh! What year is this? Nineteen ninety-four. Tim Curry? No. This needs more recognition. Are you kidding me? I was fully invested in that. Will they work? 